Well, this is the hard part of having pets. You know, these pets don't have a long life like we do. And uh, just dug the grave for one of our cats. That's old Bart. He was a beautiful black cat that showed up here. Big tomcat, big bruiser. Anyway, we, we managed to trap him in the garage. I had to use welding gloves to catch him. And he stunk. My gosh, he was a really ripe tomcat. And uh, got him in the house in a cage and uh, took him to the vet the next day. They cleaned him up, vaccinated him, neutered him. And when he came home from the vet, he was a docile, really fine pet and real hard body. He was, gosh, he was good. And uh, the funny part of that was a few days after we got him back from the vet, I was out, went out in the driveway and we had a black cat out there. I thought Bart had escaped, but uh, right there in that grave is Brat. And Brat showed up and he's another big black cat. He showed up a few days later. That poor Brat, he wanted help. He had uh, badly infected sores all over his face from fighting. But my gosh, he was like a Tasmanian devil. And we got him fixed up, got him to the vet. Susan lanced his infected wounds and got him drained and peroxided. We got him to the vet. And uh, he was a docile pet. Brad is the one who would uh, be on the phonograph and dance to the records we'd play. So anyway, they were good buddies. And uh, Brad had a... Uh, a little owl doll that he liked to carry around. He'd carry it around and uh, talk to us. He was, felt like he was a big hunter when he was carrying his owl doll. Well, after Brat died, nobody bothered that owl doll. It it just stayed wherever we'd put it. Uh, anyway, so last week uh, when I came in came in the farmhouse to take care of the cats, Bart uh, was hiding. I had to look for him. And he'd, he'd gotten in behind some furniture, and he, he had taken Brat's owl doll back there with him. And I knew right away that was a bad sign. <laughs> that was pretty rough. But, uh, anyway, a few days after that, he went off his feed, and then a few days after that, he went off his water. And uh, we kept him in a, you know, kept him a bed away from the other cats, and and uh, we'd spoon water into his mouth to keep his mouth moist. And last night he had the death rattle, and this morning he was gone. But uh, never seemed to be in any distress, and that was good. We really don't like to have to take our animals into a vet to be put down. We've had to on occasion, but we've had some bad experiences with that. And uh, I had a vet tell me one time that it's, he had a hard time with it because it says if you... If you think about what you're doing, a lot of these animals can read your mind and then they, they, they get scared and go, go a little bit crazy when they know you're going to put them down. And uh, so we're always hesitant. We don't, we'll take an animal in if we think they're hurting, but if everything is running uh, pain free, you know, we'll, uh, we'll let nature work its way through on these. So anyway, good old Bart, he was a good buddy, and uh, gosh, we buried a lot of pets here over the years. We got Bart and Brat and Marvin and Nellie, big dog Hey Joe that showed up here in 92, he was a good old dog. And uh, Anyway, that's the hard part. There's my brother. <laughs> well, there's our kitty. Look at him. He's all excited. Okay, today opened up a drawer full of records and we pulled out Forest Whispers by Arthur Pryor's band. That may be some kind of Deep Woods Thoughts type of thing, but it says military band. So that's going to be music, but it says descriptive novelty. I'm not sure what we'll find there. And on the other side, the Battleship Connecticut March 
the Arthur Pryor's band, and that would be back in the era of the Dreadnoughts. That would be like back around 1900 or so. When things started actually looking like a real battleship. Okay, first we're going to listen to Forest Whispers, and Brat's all fired up. There he is. Arthur Pryor's band. song and old Bart came along you probably saw the camera jiggling he was rubbing around on on the leg of the tripod so I just set him up here on top too and we'll change out the needle and we'll listen to the battleship Connecticut March oh there Bart you're bumping me buddy okay get the needle put in the right way there Arthur Pryor's band, Battleship Connecticut March, and away we go. Thank you. 
Well, that was a good one. And yeah, both both cats stayed for both sides, so I guess this one has their seal of approval. Anyway, that was the Battleship Connecticut March. We'll look that up on 78 discography and find the date on that. And the flip side was Forest Whispers. So anyway, we'll do another one next week. Catch you next time.